Okay, uh, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be demonstrating how we go about going through Blackboard, downloading a file that we want to open in our iPad, either using a standard word processing app or a specialized app like Liquid Text. And I'll go through the steps whereby we will actually access that file through the gradebook, download it to Dropbox, and then show you how to um, open it up in the app of your choice. For this demonstration, uh, I'm going to be downloading a Microsoft Word file, but it works with any sort of file. So first of all, what you see here is my list of courses in Blackboard as it's represented in the Puffin browser. So that's the browser that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. As you can see, it's a pay, it's a free app with ads, so ads will pop up every once in a while. So I'm going to select the uh, Introduction to Sociology class. The class loads up, and I'm going to download, I'm going to scroll down here to the Grade Center, and you'll see, uh, as always, you have that option between Needs Grading and Full Grade Center. Using the Full Grade Center has its limitations on, on um, the iPad, so I'm going to uh, select Needs Grading. And you'll see that in this particular instance, there are two assignments that have been submitted so far in this class uh, for the Critical Thinking Local Politics assignment. And you see under item name, you'll see the names. If you select one of those, I'm just going to press the actual title. And you'll see that the little drop down menu has appeared, the little arrow, the down arrow next to the word box. So I select that. And I go to grade all users. This is very similar to what you would do on a regular PC. And this opens up the interface that, in this instance, because this is a Word file, you can see the, the actual uh, document has already loaded uh, here. But if it was a file that's unreadable within Blackboard, it would just be blank. Over to the right, however, under the word submission, you can see the, doc, the uh, title of the doc, localpolitics.docx. And what I'm going to do, there's a little bit more screen to the right here, I'm going to actually uh, move the screen over here. And you're going to see that little download button. It's the arrow that's pointing down to a dash. And I'm going to select that. And that will give me the option to store the file in Dropbox. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's telling me that it started downloading it and now it's in Dropbox so I'm going to hit the home button and get out of this interface and as you can see on the top of my screen I have the actual Dropbox app I open up the Dropbox app and in truth, uh, this is uh, already downloaded here, but it, it would be in files. I would see all the files that are, on, that are online and whatnot. And what you want to do is find the file in your uh, online access here, and then download it to offline. Meaning, if you look at the top right corner of the Dropbox interface, you'll see an icon. It's shaded right now, and it looks like a down arrow inside of an iPhone. When you have a file that's online, it's on the, um, the cloud, you want, to, you want to select that file and then select that button, and it will download that file to your local drive. And then down here on the bottom left, you'll see your different file selections and you select offline which this will look at the files that are on your local on your local uh, version of Dropbox and then you'll see that it's already selected the local politics assignment again it's, it's opening it up here because this can open up word files and I can look at it however if this was a file that was not readable by the Dropbox app 
I want to open this file, which is currently on my iPad, using another application, such as a um, iMovie or Explain Everything or Liquid Text. And in order to open up this file in another app, what you want to do is you look over to the top right again. You have those three icons. One is that iPhone app kind of icon. One is the trash. But the, the other with the square with the line shooting up from it, that's called, that's a send to or upload or share, kind of a universal icon for that. I'm going to select that. And then it's going to list the apps. I'm scrolling through. These are all the apps that I can use on my iPad to open up that particular file. If you're looking, if a student has sent you a movie file, it will list all the apps that uh, you can uh, open up the movie file in. Um, in this case, it's a Word file, so it's just looking for apps that I can open it up, uh, open up Word files in. If this was a liquid text app, uh, liquid text document, you would see liquid text listed in here. You would simply select liquid text and it would open up that document in liquid text. And that is all.